Morning guys, um, I'm sorry I haven't videos, uh, videoed in a while um, or uploaded a video or anything like that um, since October is over I've been quite busy um, yeah I um, you know how I said before that we had people in to um, do our heating system and take it out and put a new one in and everything like that well um, didn't give us any notice and they arrived yesterday which meant we had to run and move everything that we needed to move to leave them in because we weren't told so our house is actually upside down um, so that's why I haven't been able to film um, because that was yesterday and on Saturday yeah Saturday we had people in here doing other stuff um, putting the heating system into the utility room which we still didn't we didn't know that they were coming like they're, they're absolutely useless um, they're not telling us anything and as much as we give out and we speak to people they're still not giving us any information like so yesterday morning they arrived at 11 he arrived at 11 and he didn't leave until 8 o'clock last night which meant that we had to be out of the house so we were out of the house for the morning until about 4 and we came back and um, I said that I'd take the dogs off for a walk and I did, I took them off for a walk and when we came back Ben wouldn't even go into the house because he was scared because this man had a big drill and stuff like that so we had to take them off again and we had nowhere to go like so um, in the end we just went out of the house in the car we stayed out until 8 o'clock um, and then they went to bed straight away they were you know so um, yeah so my room is a mess everyone's room is a mess like even the bathroom everywhere is a mess now so I don't even I don't, I don't even have anywhere to film really um, even as you can see this was where my bed was and I changed it so this is where my bed is now so it's just at the other side of the room and this is like yeah just my stuff but I've had to leave them there because I have nowhere else to put them but like look at this I just have like my chest of drawers one out beside the other and I just have everything thrown there you know and um, so I, I like I have nowhere to even film and I know he used to film in my bed and everything like that but I don't like it I don't even like the bed there anymore um, so I have nowhere to film um, because everyone's room is like this or even worse and supposedly the radiators are going in today um, like he took up the floorboards and the, the landing and it's just a mess you know and this is it like he's going to leave it like that and we're going to have to fix it we're going to have to get either carpet or um, cork tiles or something down the hole the landing um, <clears throat> but yeah everywhere is just absolutely awful and He's going to be coming back in a, f in a little while. So now I need to lift like my washing basket and my lockery kind of thing that I have beside my bed. And move that before he gets here. And then I'm going to have to go around the house and help my brother and my, my mother. See if they need any help in their rooms. Because like, I mean it's an absolute awful state. You know? we did it as fast as we could and as tidily as we could because literally he came in he knocked at the door and I answered and I was like hello and he said oh I'm I'm the plumber I'm here now and I said okay and what does that mean because I was I was I had decided that I was going to say hang on a sec we don't have anything done and this is your issue because we knew this this was going to happen because but we didn't know when so I said, right, and I said, so what are you here for today? And he said, oh, the radiators and the hot press. And we were like, okay, well, look, I said, no one's told us this. And um, we have nothing done because we weren't told. Like, if we were told we were going to get this done today, 
we would have obviously had everything reg ready like I mean yesterday we had to get food out because um, I don't do that so we had to get food out because we weren't ready like if we were prepared we would have known that we had to leave the house we would have known that we had to you know have our lunch ready and our dinner ready and everything like that but we didn't know so I'm annoyed about that as well and I'm worried about weighing and all that and I don't know anymore so yeah this is the situation that we're in so the state the whole house is a dirty state I feel like it's dirty but it is because look like even down there that's where the radiator was so that's it um, I'll talk to you in a while I'll try to show you around the house the dirt of it or the mess Bye guys. Like, this is my mother's room. And stuff on the bed and everything. It's just all a mess. This is our sitting room. Like, radiator gone. And like, just everything just put in here. That we can. Shelf, all the books, DVDs. So. Like everything is thrown everywhere. Oh well. The kitchen isn't in such a state. Um, we we're trying to keep it a bit tidy because we need to obviously make our lunch today and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing here. And my mom just organised a bag while I'm trying to do other stuff. Here's this big box. This is the heating system and the pipes up there, and it's coming out throw here and there's a big black there's a big box outside our floor is all taken up upstairs so and that's it like that's that finished and my brother's room is like this so that's my nanny's cabinet which we keep safe all the time obviously but um it's just storing stuff it is what it is and whatever has to be done has to be done but it's just so annoying that nobody gave us any notice for this you know if we knew it was going to happen all of this would have been done everything would have been organized and now we're living in this pigsty that we can't do anything about and um like we're getting new windows and doors in and we don't know when that's happening either which means that technically we actually have to leave our rooms the way it is because if we move everything back we're gonna to have to move it again and it's not like you know it's a desk that's a desk we'd have to move that back over there put everything back on it and all that kind of stuff when again these men could come could be tomorrow could be the next day you know we're not getting any answers from them at all so it's not like we can just say when are you coming because they won't answer Um. so if it happens again that these builder, uh, the people for the windows come any day, any morning and we don't know that they're going to come, we're going to like, we're going to have to do the exact same thing as we did yesterday, up and move absolutely everything and leave the house and all that kind of stuff when we're going to actually have to live like this for a few days instead to see if it happens because we don't, we have nothing else that we can do. There's nothing else we can do really, you know. So it is very, very stressful. It is very, very stressful. And like trying to get everything organised and everything prepared to be out for the whole day. So we're going to probably have to leave in about 20 minutes. And we're not going to be back until maybe 8 o'clock tonight. So trying to organise all that. So I have like... Yeah. Hi guys. So um, the first part of this film... The first part of this vlog it was filmed four days ago and um, we actually have heating today. We've had four days, three, three nights, yeah, without heating. We've had nothing, we've had no radiators. Um, the plumber um, blew the light in the hall downstairs, so now we have no light downstairs. Um, because there is actually a hole in our ceiling now um, that water is dripping down from. We have 
water. I have water. This is my bedroom. I have water, a puddle of water basically in my room. So obviously a leak there. Um, so yeah, now I actually have a radiator in my room. Um, and we have radiators in the house and the heating system is working and like we've never had heat heat good heat like in this house um, and we've been here 18 years and so last night was the first night that we actually had a hot house it's crazy so um i so see yeah but um i'm sorry that i haven't i just wanted to get this out there as well i'm sorry that i haven't answered any messages or any comments or anything like that this week i've just been under a lot of pressure and a lot of stress and um i've just not felt up to it um there's been a lot going on and a part of me just feels like running away that's the honest part the honest bit of it because i just feel so stressed and alone and um so under pressure you know and i have people in my life that are actually messing with it and are um it's actually my aunt the aunt that left me down on my birthday she um she's messing with it and she's sending people my information and my details um for a job and if i knew she was going to do it fair enough and if i if i said that that's fine i don't mind you sending my details but don't send them and you know um, that's my personal details and I don't want people having them if I don't want them to have them you know so it's just oh it's so annoying but that's her you know she does what she wants to do so now I'm in a pickle because I don't know what to do and um, I just need a break so um, I don't know if I'm going to do a weigh, uh, weigh in this week because I've I know I've put on weight because this week we've been out of the house at 8 o'clock in the morning every day and we're not getting back in until 9 o'clock in the evening and once we get back in I've just gone to bed because I just couldn't be bothered Um, like we haven't been able to cook in the house and uh, I've prepared as many meals as I could but you know we did I did have food out and um, that's it you know so I'm upset about that, so um, I'm just sick of it all, I'm just tired of it all. You know when I feel like I'm the brunt of things, I'm just like, people decide to do things and I'm the one that has to pick up the pieces, you know? Even like the woman that was supposed to mind our dogs in December when we go to Disney, now she's not doing that. So now I have to find another person to do it and now I am stuck with... It would have cost a lot, 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 lot more. Um, the blessed plumber is outside again. Uh, it's going to cost a lot more to get them minded, which, fine, I'll have to pay it. Um, uh, yeah. And the people that I am asking, you know, oh, do you have spaces? They're not answering me. So I'm stuck now and I don't know what to do because I have to get these dogs minded. Well, we're away in Disney and I have nowhere to turn. So I'm just feeling like, oh, how am I going to do this, you know? After all this planning and paying and all the, you know, getting everything organised, am I actually going to be able to go? Am I going to find people to mind these dogs? Because if I don't, what am I going to do? I can't leave them here, like, obviously. And I haven't got anyone else to ask, so I don't know what to do. And it's all left down to me. So I feel very under pressure. Um, so I just need to figure things out and um, yeah and that's the other thing I need to talk to you about I, I think this will just be a kind of an update or something because I don't know what, what else I can call it even um, that job that I went for last Friday now today is Friday so last, fr last Thursday I went for the interview and um it went great. I said it to you and I feel so stupid for actually telling you all that about the interview because of the end result of it. Um, she phoned me last Friday on Halloween night and she said, um, oh, you know, you were wonderful. And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. And she said, um, but she said, I knew this was going to happen. I said, what? She said, um, I was speaking to my husband about you and um, he was saying that was great and yeah he'd look forward to me taking care of the children and helping out and all that um, and then she said it to her mother 
and her mother said that she would do it instead. So basically, um, there isn't a job available. And um, thanks very much for coming out and seeing me and blah, 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 blah. But um, my mother's going to do it instead. So that really upset me. So that's another reason why I didn't even bother making, like, filming or anything like that or making a vlog or anything like that because I just felt like... I felt stupid because... <clears throat> I just feel like a failure, like, I don't have a job at the moment, um, I know I have the little jobs on the side, but that's, that's not, you know, I need a job, I need a proper job, so I don't have, a, you know, a good job, um, and I know I've put weight on, and... I need to go back to the hypnotist that I went to, Trevor. I know I need to go back to him, but financially I can't at the moment. Um, and I just feel like rubbish. I just feel like absolute rubbish. So, and like, look what I'm living in. Like, if that has anything to say. Do you know what I mean? Like, we can't move this back because we have men out there now putting in windows three, three doors down from us. Um, they're putting in windows and new doors and they're going to be obviously coming to us. We don't know if they're going to work the weekend because they did last weekend. So we don't know, are we going to have them here today? Are we going to have them here tomorrow? What are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. You know, we ask them, they don't care. They don't, you know, they're not being helpful. So, I don't know. So... Just got a message from someone and I don't even know who it is. It's probably because my aunt actually gave my number out. Because that's what she's done. She's given my phone number out to loads of people. I don't even know these people. And they're asking for my CV and then they're saying, oh, I got your CV from her. And naming her. So. Anyway, I'm sorry that this isn't a very good video. Um, it's just I'm putting out there how I feel. Um, I mean, yeah. And I know it's like, oh, things will get better. And I know that the the builders will be gone and all that kind of stuff. And my room will go back to normal and all that kind of stuff. And I know that. But right now, it's not. And when you're, you know, when you feel like this, your head is all over the place anyway. So, that's it. That's all, you know. I just feel so stupid for a lot of reasons. So... Anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow or some other day, guys. I do miss um, not vlogging daily. And I do miss not chatting to you all. And I know I could just go back on and message everyone and everything. And I will. But, like, I haven't even had the chance to do that. And I haven't had the mental space to do that. Because I haven't even had anywhere to bless a vlog. Like, like look at the state of me. I'm standing in this room that is literally falling apart. <coughs> And like even the landing, he didn't even fix the landing, the floor. Anyway, look, I'll talk to you soon, guys. And um, yeah, I miss you. <laughs> Bye, guys.